Yeah, I've never, it doesn't work with hired worker. No, the passenger script. I think you just come on over and press X or something. Sure, it'll do. Can you get in? Hey, hey he's in! <laughs> get oh, your name's way up there, though. I need to like adjust that because it has like a name placement. Oh, I can't even. I can't even look outside the camera. Like, what does your view look like? Right off the door, you want to switch? I can move around. I can't move. It's the same thing as, uh... Yeah, I get to see when I was doing the cab. You should see your position. Hey, go, go, get back in there. You can change positions, like now I'm the other passenger. Oh, I don't. Get back in the front. Okay. Hey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Let's go time. down to CPS and fill up. Oh, you can't pan out with C is what you're saying? I got gotcha. you. Yeah. <laughs> if you were sitting in the back, you want to see what a backseat driver looks like? <laughs> you're literally making the animation for uh, to drive. So four of us can fit in here. That might make The volume's kind of funny, though. Yeah. This is... Well, like, the video on the... When you're the passenger, it's, like, cutting out. We just need to get two other goons back there and go to uh, Applebee's. <laughs> Half off appetizer Tuesdays. Well, now, now we can actually, uh, what do you call it, move equipment easier if you ever want to get rid of that one thing. What one thing? The tab. Where you can't tab it the I was thinking about that, but then you'd always have to park the truck back where you spawn, which is the house. Or, uh, if you're by yourself, it makes it kind of nice that you can pass. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> is that what we consider suicide? Have you ever done that in G... That's funny when that happens in GTA. So, the size of the tender I'm making is a little bit bigger than this one. I think it'll look better as a fifth wheel. Oh, I yeah, it looks a lot better as if. Is the arm going to be taller? The arm's going to be longer, and it's actually going to do, like, its swivel and pivot, and you'll be able to, like, pitch it up and down. And hopefully you'll be able to, like, turn it around so you can load it. Oh. I don't know, there's a lot of scripting I'll look into, but uh, I know on the one that Abel sent over, it actually allows you to fill while you're in the truck. Like, you'd be able to <laughs> fill the planter by pressing, like, O. It's in uh, here, right? Oh, it's not open! Is it closed? What time is it? Ah, uh, cl closes at uh, 6 o'clock. Oh. Anyways. 
It's kind of weird that you're like locked in at uh, in the passenger cab. I know. I I see what you mean by your name now. Your name's like 15 feet above the drill. Yeah. No, I don't need to go. Need coffee. <laughs> Barking in the car. But it's it's <laughs> funny because I like exit at the same same. Uh, we got auto parts down here, Burger King, Applebee's. BP. Yeah, I think the um, the uh, fifth wheel will handle a lot better with that extra weight in it. Mm-hmm. I think it'll just look nicer. Yeah. So uh, my big thing right now is tonight I just kind of roughed it in in the frame and got all the it dimensionally stable, but um, I don't really know how much it will hold. People are saying like 650 bushel. So well, I texted text our snack bean guy that like treat soybean and I go, how many bushels are in a unit of beans? And he goes, a little less than one. So it holds 400 units, it holds 400 bushels. Is that what the number signifies? Yeah, that's what it says. 400 units, that means how many actual treated units of beans. Like those square boxes that you can get of beans. Yeah. Those big black ones, those hold like 50. I just make it hold 23. Because that would be if it was 650 bushel. Right now, yeah. the JM is specced at just over 400 bushel. Yeah, I think this one's. I think this one only holds 375, even though that's what the number means. That's what I figured the number meant, but then I get a lot of conflicting information that it's not what it means. There's no, not a lot of companies actually follow the number, like the case quad track 600. That's because it's got 600 horses. Yeah. I we'll look at Kuhn Krauss 5635. What the fuck does that mean? It's 50 feet, you know? Yeah. Or the 26, 23. Yeah. So you really never know with anything like that. Like, I mean, look at the uh, 775E or 875. Like, what does that actually mean? Yeah. So that's cool that that works. <laughs> I knew you were coming up to test it. Let's go to the lake. You're so full of shit. <laughs> well, I honestly thought I was going to go to bed, but. Yeah. Well, I was gonna study some uh, pediatric dentistry, but I don't have that exam till two weeks from yesterday. We should probably, we should probably try to round off or square up the corner of three there. I was thinking like some of these fields where we start, we always kind of arbitrarily start at random points. Yeah. If we always were to start at like the same spot where it's nice and squared off, then well, it would. That's where, that's where I started here. But when you look on the north side of it, it's like eight square. Okay. Granted, it's flat in the corner of there. I was trying to start with the drive through the lake. I like this truck without the four-wheel drive on. It handles better. I think we should put the four-wheel drive on the traction. It, it's too torquey up front. Um, where if you let the rear wheels just slip just a hair. Oh, awesome. So I'm going to putz on down to 44 across the road here then. I'll start doing some flower. Finish it up, yep. 44 at least. Yeah, I was just gonna come in and pop out the three corn fields and all we'd have is like soybean and all that. Figure that I'm on here, might as well utilize our rental. <laughs> I thought about using follow me, but on this field it'd be kind of more of a hassle. Seen if Mike was gonna get on.
had like ten people message Instagram today. <laughs> odd for me. Can I have these? Can I pay for this? You're such a dick. Because I was kind of out of shitty cell reception. Yeah. All of a sudden, like bang, 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 bang. Oh, crap. <laughs> Yeah, you're a lot nicer than I would be. That's why I never go on there. You, you make a mod for me in DM. I said, no. Well, can I buy it? He said, it's illegal to sell. He goes, well, you're rude. I said, well, you're banned. Bye. <laughs> oh, I can't get what I want. You're such a dick. <laughs> yeah, you're so rude. Why? Because I won't give you a mod? I'm his cousin. No, you're not. You're such a dick. <laughs> Asshole. I'm gonna see you at Christmas. <laughs> I I have a lot of long lost cousins apparently. There for a while when I was building the DB120 and stuff, man, all kinds of relatives were coming out of the woodwork then. Well, I think the funniest thing that cracked me up was that Rory kid saying that, oh, I got a buddy that's gonna send me his cat. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> When you have to lie about having farm sim mods, that's when you know your life is a fucking joke. <laughs> yeah. Or that little Carson kid that's like 12 years old. I'm friends with Joe. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, I've been driving not. a truck since I was two. How do you know me and Joe aren't friends? I said, because I talk to him on a daily basis. <laughs> do you not know who I am by now? People don't even know who I am when I comment. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I really... I didn't release it. Well, it was released on Mato. <laughs> I released it to Mato. Uh, oh. <laughs> the, the, the gears are turning now. The light bulbs are coming on. <laughs> Put it in. Um, I basically took the wheels out of the mod, made the thing unrigid, and then just scaled it. Uh, did we go up or down? I think we went no. up, didn't we? No, no, we went down because it was too big. Oh. And then. He, uh, he commented. Statement. <laughs> that Sylvie is a little. That Sylvie's got a better AO I kind of want to uh, export to 2500, but. And do what to it? I don't know. I'm kind of over uh, trucks right now. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is work on the CT660 and then probably call it a day on trucks for a while. I don't really think, I mean, the 2500, you're talking the dually or the other no. Sierra we have? No, single axle, not the 1500. Uh, oh. I'd like to get a 2500 uh, non-dually uh, with like a fuel tank. Oh. With a, like a fuel script on the back of it. That'd be nice. If you're at that, you should probably just make the big old box. morning maintenance before harvest and shit. We've done that with carriers before in the field at night. Like you run a bunch of towel line or a bunch of like free plant fertilizer through the or like chemical fertilizer in with the dry it clogs up. There's times we've actually brought a tender trailer and a fireman hose out to the field and wash the machine off. 
Why is that just too far away from the main main shop? Oh yeah. Or? I was I was 60 miles away from the office and I was gonna be there all week. So I got into a lot of mud and then the guy wanted to add a lot of chemical pre-plant fertilizer to his uh, dry fertilizer. Well, it was starting to clog shit up. So, so what do you do? Up. You drive your truck down there and not just a little. No, if you're working like an hour away from the main main shop, what do you do? Just drive your personal vehicle down there, or what? No, I ride with it. I go to work and then I hop in with my tender truck driver. Oh. And then he brings me home at night, and then he gets all pissed off because we're out so late. And he's got to ride with you <laughs> the whole 60 well, minutes back. It's God a great, damn it! It's a, it's a great conversation when we're 70 miles away from. Friday night at 6.30 and they decide to put the trailer in the ditch so that I can't load and I have to wait an hour and a half for a tow rope. It's a very quiet ride back home. Wait, what? Like those Merrick trailers I sent you? Yep. We had a guy that was dumb enough to miss a 30 foot driveway with the truck and back the ass end of the trailer in the ditch to the point I couldn't load off of it and he couldn't drive out. Oh. I had to call for a tow rope an hour and a half for my tow rope to show up. So instead of starting the field at 6.30 at night, it was more we were starting the field at 8. Why so late? Uh, just got all, had a lot of shit to do in the spring. Do you guys run a night shift or you just run until like... No, we run from 1 6 o'clock. 6 a.m. to about 10 p.m. at night. I'll work 16, 17 hour days in the springtime. Yeah, I remember back in college, I used to work at uh, Menards, the distribution center, and drive around those uh, trucks called yard horses, and I would work from like 4 to 1 o'clock in the morning. And then I'm like, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> yes. So I quit, because the amount of time that it was taking up was not even worth like the little bit of money I was making. I'm like, this is retarded. Oh yeah. But it was fun because I would just beat the piss out of their trucks. <laughs> we, we, we've got pickups that are like two years old and 40,000 that are already beat to hell because our work pickups we just fly down gravel roads and do burnouts. Yeah. What the hell? Or when you get a interrogator on two wheels, that's always fun. What's the air conditioning like on those? Great. Is it pretty good? Oh yeah. Summertime, you turn it down to, you turn it down to 55 in the cab. It's great. Cause it's I, frost. I remember, so um, in high school, I'd always, I would spend like my summers in a T180 Bobcat and a 328 Deer skid loader. And those air conditioning units sucked fucking ass. Oh, our, our air conditioning unit and our cat skid loader that we have will freeze you to death. Yeah, well, the, the Bobcat and John Deere, they, they just freeze. They freeze up and you don't get, they don't, you don't get conditioned oh. anymore. Yeah, so it was like on those really hot days, summer days, when you're just out power raking yards for uh, sod and stuff. It's like your air conditioning unit just does not keep up because when you're power raking, you're like in the middle of a giant dust bowl. Oh, yeah. So it's like pretty extreme conditions, really. Uh, heaters work pretty good when you'd be out plowing snow. I don't ever run my heater in my interrogator. The highest that thing will ever get is like 60 or 65, even in the dead of winter. So no good on the heater then? Well, not no good on the heater, but the cabs are so small in those interrogators that sunlight coming through will bake you out of the cab. Oh, yeah. And I'm not a guy, I can't be that guy that, like, we 
Maybe I could just turn it all the way up to 90 and just have that thing like a fucking sauna. I can't do that. No, fuck that. Dude, your like, ass would sweat into the seat. They got heated seats. I got a heated leather seat in my interrogator. Damn. The brand new ones come with air conditioned seats like pickups. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's pretty standard now in automotive. Well, when you're spending three, four hundred thousand on something, you better, you better make my ass warm and cold on demand. <laughs> oh yeah, I like the Patriot ones because they got climate control. And Patriot, Patriot ACs are pretty good. I want a heated steering wheel too. <laughs> That'd be nice. But a lot of guys aren't doing field work in the winter, so. No. But but some those fall mornings, those fall mornings can get pretty damn chilly. Frost on the windshield and shit. So. Maybe up in Canada, it's a little bit cooler. <laughs> eh? I can't wait till we get to around harvest time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he even watched my video, otherwise he would have known and said something. Because I think it got brought up in one of my videos. I don't think he ever looked at it. Well, we put enough videos up that he's gonna... Unless he's an avid watcher, which he's not. No. He ain't gonna watch it because he lives it. I was uh, thinking what it would be like if we combined 18, 17, and 29. That would be that would be like a Canadian field for canola or something. <laughs> yeah, but there there goes our goal to get it. Right? I know, right? That could, I can. Uh, T97 and the 1500, he'll have no issue keeping up with those uh, dual 36 foots. Dual have, 36 have your buddy running truck. You mean dual 16 rolls, right? No, I'm talking the uh, Wilson trailers. Oh. Because yeah. that's usually the issue. Like, it's no issue keeping up with the grain cart. It's just the grain cart just runs out of place to unload, you know? Oh, yeah. So it shouldn't really be an issue. And um, as small as that grain complex is there, you can get around there pretty pretty easily with the, with the trailers. As long as you're not going in at 40 miles an hour. Yeah. You just got to be smart. So I think I'm going to try to hammer out that land roller uh, tomorrow and Friday. It might not be yeah. perfect, but it will be at least version one. Just because I really can't find a lot of pictures I need to make it. Like yeah. in the middle, how the whole roller is attached to the main frame and stuff and the locking mechanisms. I don't really know what that looks like so I think I'm just gonna invent something of how I would design it and then call it good enough until maybe I can find better pictures or something but mm -hmm. I've been looking for a couple hours and over the last couple days I couldn't really find anything because we're at the point where we're getting close to using that roller because some of the moisture is pretty low in these fields well one of the nights you get on I'll make sure my buddy gets on and he'll tell you all they hook. Basically, he's got to unfold it, get out of the cab, and actually 
actually go put pins in it to lock it. Like, it'll fold out. Yeah, I, I was gonna say some of them, it probably you back it up, and then it could probably have a hydraulic locking mechanism or a manual pin. I was assuming it'd be like a hydraulic lock. I mean, everything's hydraulic lock now, like a quick attach, so. I mean, I can think of how it should look. Um, but unless you know someone with like a uh, man Dakato Land Roller, I don't really know. Because on Tractor House, it's pretty much nothing. Or if there's a picture with a good angle of what I need, it's so far away that I can't see shit. It's like, uh, almost kind of want to like sw it's such a simple design for a roller so that's why I want to go with it but there's some nice rollers too like oh yeah bigger rollers a little bit more complicated but I like the black the black looks sweet the black will look pretty badass on with the uh, with the uh, yellow hydraulic cylinders that looks sweet I like how yeah, the, uh, with that new indoor script and the, uh, door, that when you open and close it, the volume changes, that's really cool. Yeah. That's, can't wait to put that on the, uh, CT660 with doors and windows, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Fuck modding is coming out with your mouth. Oh boy. Well, that Rory kid, that kind of in-game is one, I think He's done? Yeah, he's kind of on. He, he switched. He did a 180. He's on your side now. Why? Oh, ever since that truck got posted, it's 100 messages a day of people asking for work. So, well, welcome to the real world. I imagine if you made shit. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason why I'm the only one with the mods that I have. No amount of money will get them for you. Some things in life need to be earned and cannot be purchased. The next time a kid asks me how much for a mod, I'm just going to go 400000 Uh, Make sure you say 460000 That would cover the cost of dental school. Okay. 460000 and I'll make whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, my dad's a millionaire. take 30% up front in advance. <laughs> I'll take the next 30 when I send you the first blender pictures. Ah, Dad, we need to refinance the house. Get a quick in loans on the mortgage. <laughs> you know what's sad? is like my loans for my DMD degrees at like 6%. A direct operating loan for a farmer is 1.5% on a million dollars. And you could buy a fucking house for 3%. Well, I know. That's what everybody's complaining about. The, <clears throat> the interest rate on education is so high compared to, like you said, a farmer going out to get a loan for tractors. Yeah, and the thing is, like, this education is personal debt. It's not a business debt. It's not like you can write it off by buying shit or it yeah. goes against your net income. It's personal debt. So, I mean, there's a lot of uh, resources available. Like, um, a lot of practices will, the practice will pay off. You know, they'll give you, like, a $60,000 bonus a year for, like, ro loan repayment. Or if you're the owner of the practice, you can do... Uh, put it in part as a fridge uh, benefit package or uh, you can have uh, the office kind of offset your income through retirement uh, hmm. investments so there's ways that you can get around paying yourself more without actually paying yourself more and, um, but yeah there's there isn't a whole lot That I can do except uh, put as much money towards principal as quick as possible because uh, 
Um, they don't even, uh, it's no longer uh, subsidized, it's upsubsidized too. So uh, I get capitalization on interest, so I get really screwed over. Oh, wait. We had a kid that was an intern that came to us. <coughs> we, we pay our interns pretty well, and they pay for part of the schooling that come work to us, but probably shouldn't lie and say that you got a DUI. Or forget to mention you got a DUI when they hire you. <laughs> it's a pretty quick way to get fired. Yeah. Oh, we, need, we need to take the inventory of your CEO. Why do you have one? Why not? I got a DUI. Oh, see ya. Especially when you're uh, going to be on a CDL. What is that? A class D? Class A? Class A. There's A, which is combination, which is your semi tractor trailer. B is straight truck, and then C is an endorsement for like driving a bus with 14 passengers. Yeah. And then you got half. I mean, I mean, like, my undergrad, I had that paid for, so that was nice. I don't have any debt for my undergrad. And, uh, I'll probably be making 30, 45,000 a month once I'm out, so. It's all yeah. relative, you know, it's basically like you make 60,000 a year and you have 60,000 in undergrad debt, you know. I make 400,000 and I have 400,000 in debt, so. I'm but, fine being a poor farmer. But the thing is, like, it's the more you make, the more you get taxed. So, oh, your actual like, um, if you make over 250, you're making significantly less because then you're into a whole new tax bracket. So a lot of, a lot of guys will try to offset their income. If they're they pay themselves like 249, and then they try to offset their income through other things like investments or continuing education as vacations or they'll buy uh, real estate you know they'll put uh, their vehicle on the company and they'll use that until they get oh, up yeah. to a point where like it actually makes sense to actually claim a higher like pay yourself a higher income because at that point taxes you know it doesn't even matter I actually went up a different tax bracket this year at work because of my raise <laughs> Yeah, these planners are working a lot better when I adjusted that depth node. It doesn't skip at all. I can't wait to see the individual flexing in 120. Oh. It's going to take a while to update that model to well, I, the 2623. New That's going to be nice, actually. Oh, yeah. Function like you can actually. That JM you showed me, that looks really cool actually, but it wouldn't be hard to make that either. No, I think that one's a 500 unit. Yeah, it looks, looks bigger. I mean, it's like the same trailer size. Mm -hmm. And then the hopper, I don't know. I'm sure you can slap on a... But yeah, I saw those uh, Meridian uh, semi tenders that you're talking about. Those things look pretty cool. Those are some big. Are those like belt uh, conveyors? Those are huge, like booms they have on those things. On what? They're not augers. It doesn't on look. Sea tenders are all belt. Yeah, I was gonna say they look like conveyor. They huge. have some belts. Yeah, they have to be built for the fact that those guys don't want to crack their seat in the auger. That's why all the girls in the trailers are built, so that if we do haul seat with them, it don't damage the seat. So that's not an issue with these smaller tenders then? Because you're just moving less volume, less pressure? 
no, as long as it's a conveyor belt, when you got that auger inside of there, yeah, that's more chance for it to push against something and crack. At least when you're using a conveyor, it just moves them like swiftly. <coughs> yeah. If you wanted to make that mare, which probably wouldn't take you very long, basically it's just a trailer with a hole off the ass end. That'll hold. Do you see that big John Deere prototype class 10 combine? It's almost like that auger was uh, built. Oh yeah. I'm surprised that there's there hasn't been much more for like updated pictures on that, really. Oh, on the class 10? Because I don't know. I don't know. They're keeping that one pretty secret. Can you imagine working on that project? Yeah, hi. That thing looks so. That thing looks as ugly as that tribine. But it's fucking huge. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, a lot of the new deers, they look kind of funny, but as long as you got a big uh, set of duels on it or something. A lot of guys are sure to do duels on so big roll crops just get plus wear and tear on a tire. I've been seeing a lot of... Uh, Videos on like low sidewall flotation tires or something. Oh, yes. Comparing that to like tracks, and they actually seem to pull better than tracks. Yeah, a lot of guys. Yeah. When you try to turn sometimes it doesn't really work very well. You mean the four tracks? No, the two tracks. Because if you turn in a money spot with those two tracks. Oh yeah, I'll rip everything to shit. Not rip everything to shit, you'll sink. If it's already muddy, you'll sink pretty bad. Yeah. What? I forgot how big this field was. What field are you at? Two. Oh. I'm just, I'm just going into it. One, two, one, two, one, three. Can't wait to see the high level and stuff while we're growing in here. It's gonna look ugly as hell when it harvest comes around, but... A few weeds growing in here. Oh, look, headlines and it might do it. I think Mike did six headlines on field two. He did headlines? Oh, yeah. With the red. Oh. Thing. 
Yeah. Probably uh, doing two passes with three. Um, so you can turn and not worry about them to going off crazy like. Watching some show called Friend Requ or a movie called Friend Request. What's that about? It's like a horror movie. Some dude keeps friend requesting people on face on social media, and then he does shit to them. Facebook requests from friends and people. <laughs> yeah, headlines are the worst. If only the crops followed the uh, direction that you planted. That would be nice. That w I would like to see them update that in like FS17, but I doubt that. They got so much other shit that they need to worry about. I wish they'd do something like trucks where you could have different sounds and all that. Ooh. Or at least more... sounds in general like trucks and mods they have like the 500 1000 1500 2000 indoor outdoor and oh, yeah. you know they all have there's like 20 different sound files for indoor and outdoor so that's why it sounds so good oh yeah each motor's got its own sound that's great um, what they really need to do is fix the economy you know, if there's a great demand going on for 10 hours, it better be that price for 10 fucking hours. If I sell all my grain in an hour, that price better not drop till after great demand's over. Oh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be nice to It's not much of a great demand if the price goes down after an hour of selling grain. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I think that's there's the most annoying thing. Kind of. I've been annoyed with it ever since, like, 11 came out. Because if you sell, you got to sell within the hour of it. It's going to plummet. Well, in 13 with MR, when the map was MR, it, he actually set the economy so it, its price was that price for, like, the day. It didn't change until for, like, the next 24 hours. <laughs> so you didn't have to worry about selling all your grain in an hour you could sell you could take 10 hours to sell your grain and it wouldn't affect the price or if it did it was like just a little bit you know I wonder what ever happened to Duro <laughs> probably came up on it that's like everybody else did <laughs> I know everyone that motivated me to start to mod is gone <laughs> The only people still around are Julian and Raphael. And they've been around forever, yeah. so they're not going anywhere. New. They've built up a bigger fan base than Angle did. Than who? Angle. Oh, yeah. How long has he been around? I don't think 11. I'm sure I could get more followers if I release stuff, but I don't really care. I'd rather I'd rather see more people learning to mod than people yeah. saying thank you for releasing mods. Well, people don't even say thank you. Cuz the only way like the 
farm sim modded community is going to get back to where everyone would have the ability to download, you know, a good amount of quality mods is if there's more people that know how to mod. Right now, there's virtually no one yeah. that knows how to do it well. You know, and then I always like when people bring up the argument, um, I don't understand why you don't release. It's not like you don't download mods. It's like, I can tell you with 100% certainty that I have released more mods than I've downloaded and used in my game. Yeah. So, um, I've done more than my fair share, and, and I guarantee the person that's saying that has never released a single mod, nor am I using that mod, so. Yeah. Oh, the audacity of some people is just unbelievable. That idiot Donald Potroff or whatever on Technic Mods, I yeah, joined that site again just to piss people off. <laughs> you people don't join these pages for things, you just join them for the mod. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've downloaded every mod here. I'm not here for the mods, trust me. <laughs> yeah. My recycle bin's pretty full. Uh oh. Uh oh. The man, the myth, the legend. The celebrity appearance of that is the mic. He probably won't join Team Speak either. Uh, so we could just make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> and he won't know. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna plan? He could probably take over and plan for me. I'll run Sea Tender. You can't unless you're gonna fill it at the farm. Huh? Unless you're gonna fill it at the farm. I, I'll run the Sea Tender truck and you guys can plan. And I'll just come fill you up. Wouldn't that be funny if it was like Mateus or someone? <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> Oh! Eh! Eh? Hola? Oh, go dork. fan of the Crown Royal. You can keep that opinion to yourself. We like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's one of my favorites, especially when I broke into one of the Crown Royal XR models. Ooh, that's some good shit. Yeah, I haven't tried that shit yet. Yeah, because it's like 150 bucks a 750 millimeter. That's not Ooh, bad. Shit. I got one yeah. for Christmas. I'm like, you know you're an alcohol, you get alcohol for Christmas. Oh, I, I had a time too. <laughs> had a twenty-five hundred dollar bottle of wine during Thanksgiving. Holy shit! His girlfriend's rich. <laughs> she, she lives next to Bill and Hillary Clinton. <laughs> really? Yeah. So it just came out that Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton is pro-life. You want to know how everybody calm that out? Uh, well, with as much as her husband's cheated on her, she hasn't killed him yet. She's obviously pro-life. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Mike, what is taking you so long to load? I don't know. <laughs> I know what Joe's going to do. Joe's going to go pick up Mike. Yeah, we have to try it. No, I think Jake... I think Jake should drive. Oh, Jesus, God. take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> we should go baja somewhere, all three of us in the pickup. <laughs> Let's do it. You know, maybe if... Oh, finally. 
somebody better bring the pickup. Detach the seed tender, because I don't want to lose that. <laughs> All right, I'm in the truck. It's going to happen. Help me on the opposite side of it. Where's the truck at? Up your butt. I'm coming! <laughs> you didn't even turn the track around. <laughs> I think Jake should do the driving. Oh god. Cause he's naturally more reckless. Alright, bring her over here. Come pick me up. Come on, there. I was just playing for him. Is Mike over here in the shop? Yeah, I'm by the shop. Log up to the pass. Come on, buddy! Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna have some problems with this. Where is Where is I actually? <laughs> I can see Mike in the rear view mirror and this is great. Awesome. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. No, Mama, no! <laughs> this take take us on a tour of the map. <laughs> Awesome, we got Oh shit. Jake, are you recording this? That'd be great. It's a stressful day at work, we need to unwind. <laughs> No, no, Jake, no, no, no. I got that on video. <laughs> That's called a fail. <laughs> We're kind of stuck. Somebody go get a tractor. <laughs> uh, we can't, we can't tab it either because the dealership's closed. <laughs> Can't tap to one of our tractors. These idiots. <laughs> Mike's just <laughs> chilling in there. Can Hold I... on, I'm coming. Ugh. What the hell just? I'm in the tractor with you? Or what the hell? You're in the truck with Joe. Hold on, I'm coming. Mike. No, I'm. All I can. See, I just saw you pull away from the drill. Are you in oh, the there. tractor with? Me? No, it says you're oh. in the Chevy. No, you now just, I am, but you just press E to exit. I all of a sudden, when you went to switch to the tractor, I my camera followed you. <laughs> well, so <laughs> 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 Mike's like, I got this. Too bad you guys can't see me coming. Well, that's your problem. You got an invisible box. Yeah, it's kind of like scary because you can't zoom out. You have to like you're just like locked in to indoor view. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, start your video. I want to see this from your perspective in the truck when this happens. I've been recording this whole time. Oh god, <laughs> here <laughs> comes Jake with the ATI. <laughs> oh my god. You know it's only a sixty thousand dollar truck. Who really cares, right? <laughs> oh, that is a sweet jump. We're gonna have to drive it. Whoa! Whoa! Hold on, get out of the get out of the driver's seat. I got this. 
Yes! I got a shotgun. Oh, I'm right. back this time. Woo! Hold on to your nipples, ladies. There's a sweet ramp over here. Is this... Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa! You gotta use the diff locks. Yeah, the collisions in the army are to screw you up. Jake, go get the tractor again. Okay. <laughs> is the, tr the tree's it. probably rigid. <laughs> Mike's just chilling in the truck. <laughs> I'm waiting. Yeah. I can get this thing unstuck. Where's the e-brake on this thing? <laughs> hey, <I'm in. laughs> All right, we in? All right, awesome. I know where we're going. We're gonna go jump some rock piles at the quarry. Mike in here? Yep. He's in the back. Got a leg. Oh god, this could be bad. Why don't you just go right on down? <laughs> oh boy. Here's what happens when we have a 60. Bubba Scrub! We need to find a big jump. The lagoon. Oh boy. Woo! Bull crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is weird when you can't see what's going on. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, see ya. either on this side or the other side. It's on, it's on the other side. All right, hold on. But I have the Bible. What I hit now? Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. We got owned by the barrier. This is gonna be a long way to drive. Oh screw it. I got something better. Yeah, we're kind of SOL now. No, we're not. I'm on my way.
<laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna have machinery scattered all over the map wherever the truck got stuck. Well, well, the, don't worry. The dealer, the dealer closes at six o'clock, so we can't reset. Well, we <laughs> we can. It's just we lose our tender truck for the day. So don't worry. Jake is here. <laughs> Jake is in the Kenworth T six hundred. Well. <laughs> the fastest thing we got yeah that thing hauls ass so uh mike what do you think the damage is what's that what do you think the damage is well when we flip it back over it might be a convertible okay right. good it's a low top flat top technically yeah <laughs> it's a rat rod <laughs> yeah oh Do by the way don't rod. take that same jump you did with the pickup with the semi oh god <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. If that thing goes down, then we're really screwed. What does Triple A call when Triple A gets stuck? <laughs> Anybody got a wrecker? <laughs> Why do you guys need a wrecker? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just find a wrecker. In here, you guys thought we were going to play Farm Sim. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> Where are we? All right. We Ooh, are next shoot. to the BGA. Oh, you know, crap. I've never used the BGA yet. <laughs> I don't think. I can't see nope. Jake. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. He's back getting the other camera, so He's switching one. out. That's how you know. <laughs> Let me just. Oh my god. What is. It's flying off into black space. How does that happen? Jake, you. How does this happen, Jake? What is going on? <laughs> Dude, wait till you see the video of what is actually going on right now. We're in the fourth dimension of space. Mike, go tab into that Kenworth right now. <laughs> How does Jake do it? How is that even possible? I was following the road by 23, and all of a sudden I see the tracks disappear, and I'm like... Oh. You drove <laughs> off the map. <laughs> oh. oh my god. How's that? Oh my god. Who's, who's bringing the other Kenworth over? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That thing is toast. That that has no choice but to get reset at this point. <laughs> Where's our second Kenworth? Is Joe driving it? Uh, oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is just going from bad to worse, really. I mean, <laughs> this is going to make for a great video. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just stuck here, and this is like the... This is where you go for timeout. You get locked on the dealer. <laughs> if you have to reset your vehicle after 6 o'clock, it's on timeout. <laughs> uh. Mike, don't follow the road by 23 because the railroad tracks disappear, which means that's the end of the map. Uh. And when you're doing 90 mile an hour, you, you aren't going to stop in time. <laughs> God damn it, Jake. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> Jake, you had to have known when you, like, crash and burn that. You're like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> I just got I smoked. something was up when I started tapping the vehicle. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden I, I was on... I, was I need to add passenger out. scripts to these trucks now. Do you have them in this one? No. I'll bring I'll 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 bring the ATI just in case someone drives it off the map. I'm sitting in the pickup. <laughs> I figured this is the least most technical spot I can get right now. Uh <laughs> <sighs> The 
I don't even know how you do that, Jay. It, it blows my mind. Get like a monster truck. So just so everyone knows, this is where Jake drove off the frickin' map. Exhibit A. Is something good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this pickup makes a great rail. We'll Don't tell me you flipped the Kenworth now, too. No, I don't. No. It, it, landed, it, it landed right off, but it went smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you guys think I'm going to be coming out? I'm going to sneak up on you. Sneaky, sneaky. No, like you really need to watch <laughs> This makes me perfect. I would just leave the pick up here. You should be able to take my hand if I was going to get to you. Hold on. So I see the truck. Where's the Kenworth? Coming. Don't hit the truck. Go. Hit it. <laughs> Here they come. Where? 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 What's your speed? Oh my God! The impact. <laughs> smooth gotcha. <laughs> one more time I gotta get <laughs> tree this time you gotta get more speed more speed <laughs> hold I on I hit 80 <laughs> I'll position the the truck no the truck's fine he just hit it at the wrong angle I gotta add a second ramp what are you gonna do park my I think yeah, I got the gal. Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Maximum get height. Get, up, get, get, up. get up. Yes! 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 <laughs> it's good! <laughs> it's like the Bronco kicker. We hit the post. <laughs> I was doing good until I caught the cab of the tractor and it threw me into the tree. Well, it looked like you got more. It was like a kicker. You got more height from it, though. Yeah, I definitely did. Where are you going? <laughs> Coming around. Whoops. 
<laughs> Ouch. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> I'm standing back here panning the area behind us. All of a sudden you hear trucks. I gotta get a good view behind the ramp here. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> head on. We got Oliver. We got Jake recording the back. Yes. I'm recording. The <laughs> or the front. Here's the line. Here it is. He's got it. Look at this thing just coming in with speed. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit! Barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> and he sticks to landing. <laughs> Some lag. <laughs> Get out of the truck. <laughs> we gotta position this truck a little bit better now. <laughs> That's working going? pretty slick. I'll try this from first person. This is gonna be bad. Go ahead. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Let me know when you get that pickup set straight again. Ooh. Oh shit, oh fuck. <laughs> hey, there's a ramp going to the other side too, guys. <laughs> you ready? It's hard to move, actually. <laughs> Looks funny with you wound up at the end. Oh boy, here we go, boys. This is gonna be great. We ready? I'm just gonna back up this. God, it's such an awkward spot. <laughs> what the hell kind of ramp is that? Alright. <laughs> Jake Red said he put the truck back. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> of course Jake breaks it. <laughs> Hold on, I'll fix it. Look back. Don't look her over again. Whatever, we're gonna have to go find ourselves a new. <laughs> I can only imagine what's going to happen. <laughs> He's going all the way to the paved road. Come on, baby! Good thing we don't have the damage mod. Impact! Oh my god! <laughs> well, I think we're done. Someone needs to push in the back. Oh, tree. <laughs> oh, I wonder what happens here. I think, I think game's over. We're stuck. Oh, it ain't. Where, where's the power oh, amp.
push between Hino and Lucky Pickle. Just hit us like a bee. T-bone me. T-bone! T-bone the ass end of this thing. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, perfect. I know. Can't. No. Yes! Now someone has to hit my nose. <laughs> this fucking thing is going to claim all three of us. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> yes. Yes. Come on, Jake. I got height, I got height, I got height. Yeah, I'm talking to some of them. Oh, this is going to be great. Hit me hard. Oh, I will. Don't worry about it. Pulling off the road. I'll be back. There he goes. Uh, how did I know this was going to happen? <laughs> You're the one that wanted to get out of the test of pickle. You, you know... You know what's gonna happen when Jake drives a fucking truck off map. <laughs> come on, come on! Yes! We're free, kind of. Woo! Look out, Jake, don't get stuck. <laughs> well, see you, Jake. <laughs> I'm sure Samstone didn't know that this was going to be. Yeah, that. Oh, there you go, Joel. <laughs> yes. All right, don't move. We got the perfect. Okay, guys, hop in. We're gonna evil can evil this shit. We got a We're going to jump the building. <laughs> Mike in here? Yep. Oh, good. Oh, God, this is going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jake's got the in-cab view. I got the outdoor. Back the truck up because there's like a... Alright. This could be bad. This could be bad. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. 
I gotta go in cab view for this. Okay, I got the line, I got the line. Oh, we don't have the angle though. Whatever. Hold on. I'll fix it. <laughs> Sunstone's close. Oh, God. Well, there oh, goes the eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, screw it. We're not fixing it. <laughs> no, whatever. Those things. Let's go fuck shit up. Who's with me? Is that? Oh, I am. Joel said you could change views, but I don't know how he did it. What? Oh yeah. All right, get in. Well, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? <sighs> yeah, it's probably bedtime. It's like 10, 13. Yeah. We're kind of effed out of planting unless somebody's gonna use the duels because the ATI is kind of stuck. Yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> well, um... At least you get to see what the bee farm looks like over here. <laughs> In the, uh, anyway, that was the ramp. That's quite the, the ramp. I need to smooth that out so we can get some really good uh, really good speed. I got to reset these vehicles now and <laughs> pick up later. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see that video. Oh, I'm uploading them right now, so I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> All right, sounds good. User disconnected from your channel. So then that means I have to accelerate to. <sighs> oh, we just lost a lot of money. Ew, it looks nice over here though. <laughs> With all the I'm lights out on. I'm here too, Joe. All right. I'll talk to you later. See ya. User disconnected from your channel. Anyways, I gotta accelerate. It's time to all right there's vehicles gates are open save and close so thanks for watching